Today I'm going to show you how to frame using Xtool Creative Space. First, open up a blank document on Creative Space and connect your device. You can either do this through a USB or through Wi Fi. And here I'm connected. Framing is a great tool to use to know how big or how small your creative is on your project. Framing can help minimize the amount of errors that you have on your engravings. It can also help make your engravings more time efficient. So the first thing I'm going to do is insert a shape. I'm going to insert an image of a tree just for tutorial purposes. You can make that tree bigger or smaller through dragging on the corners or changing the size up here at the top. Now you're almost ready to start your engraving. But first you wanna make sure that this image is not too big or too small to fit your piece of wood or the material that you're using. So that one easy way to do this is to go down to framing, the button on the lower right hand corner. Here it brings up a page where it tells you which button to click to start your framing process. On the Xtool D1, you hit the start button to start framing and then hit complete. Another way to start framing is to hit the start button. After you hit the start button, it brings up what your image will look like. One important thing that a lot of people don't use is the, the origin point. The origin point tells you where your engraving will start, whether it be at the top left corner, the middle, the middle right side, the bottom right corner. You have nine different options to choose from. The default setting is the top left corner. This is very important when you're using a rotary tool or you have a limited amount of space that you need to engrave on. After you figure out where you want to start your laser, then you can come up to the top and hit framing. Just like before, you hit the start button and then test the framing. One question that I get a lot is why is my framing so quick? Or that the framing is so quick that I can't tell how large my image is. So there's two easy ways to combat that. The first way is to come back to this original screen. There's a little settings button right beside the framing button. Click that and it shows the framing speed millimeters per second. I usually like to make it as slow as possible so I can get the correct measurements of my engraving. After you do that, click off of it and your framing should be slower. Another way to do this is just hit the start button and again find the settings button right beside the framing button. Click it and you can see where I pulled the framing speed down to 80 millimeters per second. So that's what it's set to. I don't know of any way that you can default the 80 millimeters per second on your framing settings. If you do, please leave it down in the comments. And that's pretty much it. That's how you frame and change your framing settings on Xtool Creative Space. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Framing is an easy thing to use and it's very helpful, but it can be a little tricky for a new engraver. If you like what you saw, please like and hit subscribe so you can see some other great laser engraving content. And please follow my Etsy store, Tar Heel Engraving. Be sure to continue engraving and have a lot of fun doing it. Have a good one.